everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Simply Celicia, and I am getting into Fear by Seventeen today. Um, they snuck up on me with this one because I honestly, I don't really like follow like their social or like, you know, whatever they're promoting at the time. I, I'm just out of the loop. I never know. I thought Hit was it and that it would be a while longer before they put out another album, but <laughs> that is not the case. So I am going to go ahead and drop in here. I have it open. They always put something in their like description area, so I know that the album, I believe, is called An Ode. Something along those lines. Um, yes, third full-length album, An Ode. Um, Self-producing artists, you know, this is kind of like their thing. So, um, as a writer metaphorically expresses his or her message through an ode, Seventeen seeks to share their message and stories with listeners through this album. Fear is an emotion many people encounter at least once in their lifetime. Seventeen explores fear as an emotion they face during their creative process. As the members search within for insight, the agony they endure help them develop one further, one step further as artists. Self-producing idols, the members participated in producing the album, adding on to the authenticity of their music. Um, and through an ode, Seventeen plans to present their distinct emotions in a more sophisticated manner. So, they worked hard. <laughs> and they want you to know that, you know, they had a hand in it. Of course they did. And, let's see. An ode is on Spotify. And it's about 11 songs long. So I'll get through this and see if we can do like a first listen as well. And let's just start with the video. So I'm assuming Hit and Fear are the title tracks. So let's go ahead and get this going. Okay. <laughs> Great. Hold on. Sound is missing. Alright, my speaker was not properly playing the music, so we are just gonna reset this. No make it your beauty or yeah, I'm poison. I know I can take it no more. Okay, so they filmed this probably around the same time as it. So I see sophisticated is code for we are adults now <laughs> and we want you to know it. We are growing into our own. Very cool. <laughs> so I remember it looks like he was in the upside down if you've ever seen Stranger Things. The particle. <laughs> They're very touchy. They're just like serving visual after visual up over here. I really like Seventeen's harmony. I think they 
communicated their anguish of this very well. But I don't know if the music video fully matches that. But it's very stunning. But I could just be that I don't, like I'm not in the fandom so maybe there's just things I'm missing, but... Something about that, something about the video in relation to the song, didn't match up the same for me. Could be because I'm just missing something, but it was still very good. It's their servant looks, they have their sophistication, as they said, is there. You know, it's definitely a very, they have like a very refined sound look and concept that they are going for this time. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and jump on over to their album. I really, like, they caught my attention this year for sure, 100%, um, with Getting Closer. So, I had, like, only picked, Jerry picked a few songs prior to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up an ode, and we'll listen to some songs here. So, we'll skip Hit, because we already did a reaction to Hit. I know Hit, I like Hit, it grows more in me every, every day, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to number two on Spotify, which is called Lie Again. All of their songs are English titles here. <laughs> I really like the sound of this one. Switch off and layer their voices. It's so well done. A lot of whispering in this concept. <laughs> Hush tones. to the next one just because there's so many on this one. Fear. Let me hear you say. We'll give each about like a minute 30. Something about this one sounds very like familiar, Seventeen. It definitely sounds like what I'm used to hearing them sound like. <laughs> you don't want to hear me say that because I'm butchering that. 247, 247, whichever direction they go with that. <laughs> this is a familiar bass line. <laughs> it's very, 
not like exactly Crimea River, but it has like that same feeling. albums have been so good this year. I feel like I need to like put them in the pool for like my Simply series for groups. This is kind of the vibe I like, so I'm down for this song. 24-7. That one's definitely a favorite so far. <laughs> this one's a vibe. Okay, we'll move on to Second Life. like the song you play in a movie after a protagonist like messed everything up and now they like want to redeem themselves. I can hear it. <laughs> this is like perfect montage song. Like, this makes me feel happy. Network Love. That's a racy title. <laughs> we got like, I call songs with this beat like Fashion Runway. <laughs> like a dance track. We're ready. Yes. <laughs> I like the way they're switching up these beats in this song. This is very good. I definitely listen to this. Back it up! Back it up. 
rap heavy. Rap line is new. I like the way they're bringing back electric. Electronic music's on its way. This is another good dance song. <laughs> and this could be back it up as in get out of my face, but we know we're all dancing to it. Like back that ass up. <laughs> This last half of this album are the vibes I'm about. Okay, let's move on to Lucky. It's like it's just getting more and more. Each song ups the tempo. It's just like you just feel the Jersey Shore fist bump coming up. <laughs> Like the last one had like the electronic vibe for the rap line, and this one's like the electronic vibe for the vocal line. Getting our like dance house on. This one's very good. Snap, shoot. This one's very like Happy go lucky <laughs> sounding. It's got a, like a franticness to it. And fun. Something about this, honestly. Hate me if you want me. <laughs> like want to to like bring us up, but. It sounds like Pentagon. Like they have like that happy go lucky side. This is very much kind of like that very fun like tongue and cheek, like it's along that same like cuteness level. But then they have like a breakdown in here that's just totally 17. And this is yeah, the shortest song. But no. Fear's the shortest. This one's a second longer. <laughs> this is just very cute. It's so it's cute. Okay. And then we have happy ending Korean vision. <laughs> I'm assuming happy ending is like a Japanese song or something they did. And now they're doing a Korean vision. like my camera's about to cut. <laughs> this is 
They just sound so good. I really like 17 vocals. <laughs> okay, so we did our 17, we did our first um, look at their MV for Fear, and then we did a first listen, at least a minute 30 of the songs that we haven't heard. So my first like feedback for this is that 17 totally has my attention this year, it's so good, like this these are very solid albums. I still think Getting Closer is my favorite. Probably because it's a little bit more succinct. Um, but this, you know, definitely has, like, their sophistication that they wanted to deliver. I can feel their hard work. You know, I know that they're talented. I am excited for their fan base, and I hope that you guys all have fun, you know, listening to it, checking it out, you know, doing all your support that you want to do. All of, of all the ones that I hearted on this so far is the 24-7, Second Life, Network Love, Back It Up, like that lineup right there was my jam, and then I also hearted Happy Ending. I'm going to continue to listen to this and actually, like, listen to the full thing. I'm sure I missed, like, certain, you know, highlights and killing parts of the song and stuff. So, um, you know, follow me on my socials over on Twitter, and I will keep you guys updated with which songs I recommend. But if you like what I do on this channel, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please share it with friends so we can build our community here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Not a move, not a chance. In the mood, not a chance. You know the chance to do the best.